good. My anime three, bro. Like, it's good. Honestly, I am shocked with the small revelations that we get every single time in Tokyo. But this stuff felt a little bit bigger just simply due to the fact that there's a lot more on the line. A member of a, of this gang is pretty much saying, like, the leader is making the worst decision ever, right? Like, by, <clears throat> by questioning Mikey's decision, you're saying that you could have made a better one, or that whatever that decision is, it's not good. And that's how I think um, the first lieutenant took it, or, like, the first division leader came out and took that. Not only did he probably just want to punch someone in the face and do all that stuff, because he saw someone else punching people in the face. Um, but yeah, he seemingly had a whole alternative thing going on. So with that being said, it's kind of obvious that it should be ridiculously hard for our main character to get him to our side, or back to our side. Seemingly, um... There was a picture dropped with the charm, and we see that there's really six members. And if it isn't six founding members, and Mikey says it was five, the sixth member or the sixth person that was there was probably someone who had gone their own separate way, and maybe didn't want to join in the first place, or there was just some beef for leadership, or I, I, I really don't know. Um, but to know at the end of the day, he went back to that same dude instantly. Just really goes to show you how close they really were. And for this guy who likes to just start slugging it out to have someone close he's with, probably means that guy is pretty dangerous as well. Um, but yeah, him wanting someone out of the clan who has just become a high up leader is a pretty crazy call and i think regardless of this call um it's still going to lead to problems in the future if this guy's around but more or less in the present the problems that you create with him could be the handle the future um and what i mean by that is he might get sent to jail for life. He might get the crap beat out of him so bad that he doesn't want to do stuff no more. Like, stuff like that to this main villain or villain in general who hasn't done anything yet. Yet. We know everything he has done or does do in the future. Hence why our main character just punches him in the face, just losing control. Knowing all of these people that you hurt are always going to get hurt because you exist, because of the decisions you make. I would want to punch him in his face as well. But, as you can see, it kind of ruined stuff. Lost a teammate, gained a, a new al a new enemy, right? That guy's not going to like our main character just because of that situation for the rest of the time. And he has his name and face and all this stuff, so just one more person... To be in line with getting, you know, trampled with, right? Or, or trifled with, I should say, sorry. Um, I say trampled because he's probably going to get stomped on. Um, but yeah, this is an amazing episode. We are getting so much closer to learning why people are doing the things that they're doing because of this one person. And maybe a way to defeat him or find some dirt on him, so... All that being said, I hope you all have an amazing day, night, evening. I might have to record some stuff later when I get home. So if I do, it will be in a video game format. So yeah, that being said, take care. Peace.